The past year has been absolutely crazy, right? And because of all that craziness, it's easy to forget that there actually has not been a Fortnite World Cup since 2019. Wow. Bunch of Crunch Army, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. And while there might not be an official World Cup coming until 2022 at the earliest, that hasn't stopped us from wondering which of the top pros would attend. So today, we're asking the question, if the Fortnite World Cup were to happen this year, who would qualify in solos? The first player on our list who doesn't come as a surprise is former Fortnite World Cup solo champion, come on now, Booga. Yes, you heard that right, Booga. All right, at this point, you know, Booga is a household name when it comes to all things Fortnite following the World Cup. And, you know, into 2020, Booga had many ups and downs. One main problem being it took Booga a little while to find set teammates. You know, once Fortnite Chapter 2 came out, the next FNCS that was announced was Squad. Booga eventually found himself a really, really, like, legendary squad consisting of himself, Clarity G, The Waifo, Stretch. You know, they qualified for heats, getting placed in Heat 3, securing themselves an opportunity to qualify for finals, which they did. Booga and crew, well, they played out of their minds, placing first in Heat 3. Unfortunately for Booga, the finals was a huge letdown. They placed 21st out of 25 total teams, which was super surprising to the community. From there, Booga continued to team with squad mate, Stretch, and the following dual tournaments. It seemed as if Booga was just, you know, falling off a, a little bit, but once solos and trios came back around, Booga was like right back to his old self. Alongside Jamper and Avery, you know, Booga was back on top. They were killing the trio game mode, achieving countless top five finishes. And on a similar note, despite his struggles in squads and duos, Booga continued to place well in solos throughout 2020, placing in the top five times in 2020, as well as many other top 10 finishes. Booga has continued to be a staple in the solo scene for the 2019 World Cup and on. So based on his recent performances in all tournaments and specifically his consistency in solos, we think that Booga would for sure or qualify once again for a 2021 Fortnite World Cup. All right, guys, before we go any further, we got to ask you guys this question. All right, what major changes would you guys like to see come in Fortnite before the next World Cup? Let us know in the comments down below. All right, bunch of Crunch Army, here we go. Next on our list comes another player who is no stranger to anybody. Ladies and gentlemen, Benji Fishy. Benji Fishy is another player who qualified for the Fortnite World Cup in solos, but unlike Booga, Benji Fishy also qualified for duo. Benji Fishy hasn't missed a beat since the 2019 Fortnite World Cup. After a handful of invitationals following the World Cup, Fortnite began to host frequent solo cash cups, which were truly free cash for Benji Fishy, placing top 10 with many top five and more than half of these solo cash cups. Benji continued to prove he was one of the best solo players in Fortnite in late 2019. Moving into squads and trios, Benji Fishy and European superstar Mongrel elected to pick up Nate and Woofies to their squad, man. And they started winning multiple events alongside placing top five and many others. So as solo and duo cash cups came back, Benji Fishy yet again did not miss a beat. I mean, it seemed as if every week Benji was just winning another cash cup, right? Either in solos or in duos with fellow World Cup duo partner, Mr. Savage. Benji Fishy simply couldn't stop winning. Whether it was solos or duos or trios, Benji Fishy was winning events left and right, man. While teaming with a variety of huge players in the EU scene, including Mongrel, Mr. Savage, you know, Lechi and Nate, Benji Fishy has yet to let off the gas since the Fortnite World Cup back in 2019. For these reasons, man, we think that if Fortnite were to host a World Cup in 2021, Benji Fishy would 100% qualify for a 2021 Fortnite World Cup. So before we continue, guys, we want to ask you guys a simple question. Do you want to qualify for the next World Cup? I hope the answer is yes, because that's why you're listening to us. Like, if so, you should definitely check out ProGuides.com, where we have the best coaches who can give you guys the best and the fastest tips. Here we go.
Moving over to the North American West region, we got Arkham. Okay, so Arkham, being in the same boat as Benji, also qualified for the 2019 Fortnite World Cup in both solo and dual game modes. After qualifying for the World Cup, Arkham managed to land a place finish in duels while only placing 53rd in solos. Arkham is, you know, he's a very unique case, right? Like after the World Cup, for the remainder of 2019, he was consistently placing in the top 20 with a handful of top three finishes as well. Compared to someone like Benji Fishy, Arkham wasn't really placing at the top of leaderboards left and right. Boy, would this change when 2020 came around. In March of 2020, all right, check this out. Arkham seemed to be a completely different player. Like when we tell you a switch like flipped in this guy's mind, it did. After placing first in the first week of Duel FNCS, Arkham didn't stop winning in 2020. Duel wing with Andrew, Arkham was winning tournaments left and right as well. Everything from Duel Cash Cups to even a DreamHack solo event. In 2020 alone, Arkham had 20 first place finishes. That is literally insane and most likely one of the most frequent winning players in the scene. He was quite literally winning in every mode, whether it was solos or duos or trios, regardless of teammates, Arkham was simply winning. And after a huge year in 2020, Arkham is coming into 2021 with a head of steam with nothing stopping this guy from replicating his 2020 placements. Despite being from North American West region, Arkham is arguably one of like, if not the best players in the world at this point in time. And for this reason, we think that Arkham would 100% qualify for a 2021 for reason we think that Arkham would All right, the next player on our list is a bit of a, you know, up and comer. Before 2020, Reet was relatively unknown. In fact, I mean, he wasn't even around when the Fortnite World Cup happened. Reet emerged in the Fortnite competitive scene in late 2019, playing in the FNCS trio events. And shortly after his debut, Reet managed to place first in one of the contenders' solo cash cups in North American West region. Reet, being a controller player, also played in a lot of console events, one of which he managed to play second in. In early 2020, Reet joined Outkast, which really put him on the radar. Shortly after joining Outkast, he was picked up by Extra Gaming, a growing organization in the Fortnite scene. Reet went on to place in many other cash cups, landing a couple of top fives throughout early 2020. From there, Reet seemingly just took off. I mean, it seemed like every single week he was winning a cash cup and he began to grow exponentially across all of his social media accounts. This momentum did not stop with Reet winning 12 tournaments in 2020 and achieving multiple other top five finishes in all game modes. Although he has won events in multiple different games, modes, a large majority of his wins have come in solo. Today, Reed is one of the most well-known solo players the Fortnite competitive scene has. Based on the momentum that he built in mid to late 2020, we believe that this guy would definitely qualify for a 2021 Fortnite World Cup. So the final name on our list, similarly to, you know, the first three, won't come as a surprise to anybody. Last but certainly not least, ladies and gentlemen, we got Epic Well. So Epic Well is another one of those players that managed to qualify for the 2019 Fortnite World Cup in both solo and dual game modes. In the World Cup Finals, Epic Well played out of his mind, placing third in solos and 12 in duos. A top 15 finish in both game modes is absolutely insane. Coming off of his insane World Cup performance, Epic Well did not let his foot off the gas for like one second. Throughout the remainder of 2019, guys, Epic Well managed to land 12 top five finishes, including four first places. For most players, okay, after qualifying for the World Cup in both solos and duels, as well as finishing 2019 off with multiple top tournament finishes, it would be extremely difficult for most players to live up to that standard in 2020. That just simply wasn't the case for Epic Well. In just the second tournament of the year, he managed to land his first place finish in 2020, and this guy did not stop there. Throughout to land 22 first place finishes alongside 19 other top five finishes and that is over five times what he accomplished in 2019 not only did he not stop winning but he won tournaments in literally every game mode from squads to solos epic well legitimately won everything many people would even argue that epic well should be named the 2020 mvp and fortnite competitive after that performance it goes without saying that a player that was this consistent for over the past two years would not only be able to but would be extremely likely to qualify for any tournament Fortnite would ever host. For these reasons guys, we believe that Epic Will would 100% qualify for a 2021 Fortnite World Cup.
All right, guys. So although Fortnite has elected not to host a 2021 Fortnite World Cup, these are the players that we think would 100% qualify for the event if it were to be hosted. But like, how accurate do you think our list is? Like, what would you add? You know, would you take someone out? Let us know in the comments what you guys think. And make sure, man, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We got so much more great content coming out. And make sure to connect with me on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. Hey, keep grinding. I'll see you soon. Oh,